we broke the news at 8.30 that Ford was pulling out of Australia from 2016. That'll affect Broadmeadows and Geelong, uh, pulling out manufacturing. On the line, the National Secretary, the AMWU, Paul Bastian. Good morning. Good morning. Do you know exactly what they're going to do? Well, we know uh, that the announcement's been made to uh, workers uh, this morning that uh, Ford will cease its production of its vehicles here in Australia. Um, by the uh, end of uh, 2016, and that will mean a loss of 1,200 jobs that we'll soon go from auto in this country uh, overseas, and that is a devastating blow. Uh, even though some workers may have expected this, uh, but nonetheless, this will be a devastating blow to those workers, their families, uh, and their communities, and we are alarmed at the way this has come about. Uh, where Ford have announced it as a fait accompli, that Japan and Detroit have said, that's it, it's all over. Um, and we're alarmed at the knock-on effects this has not just for Ford, but for the component sector, the rest of the auto industry, and indeed the manufacturing sector. You we know, are in a crisis in manufacturing, and we need some action around this uh, to be taken right now. Well, we'll get to that action in a moment. My, my concern is this. If Ford stops uh, manufacturing, that affects the component suppliers, and the component suppliers closing affects the other manufacturers. Is that your point, that, you, that all, th all three are in some sort of state of, uh, of, uh, of crisis? There is a real knock-on effect that will be flowing through to the component sector and the auto sector. And the auto sector is critical to manufacturing. It is the hub of innovation, work organisation and skills and plays a major knock-on role in technological diffusion throughout manufacturing. Um, that's the point that we are making. Um, we cannot stand by and see our manufacturers, including auto, be belted around by the high dollar while countries around the world, such as Japan, are intervening in their marketplace by printing more money. We've seen the yen devalued by 25%, um, and we've seen... We've, we've got a tariff regime and entered into trade agreement that put our manufacturers at a competitive okay. disadvantage. And we're also seeing government stand up and say, buy Australia, promote buy Australia. But in reality, we don't get a lot of support when it comes to our auto industry to buy Australian-made vehicles. If you went to Korea and Japan, you won't find a Commodore or a Falcon in a government fleet, but you'll okay. find a menagerie of vehicles in our fleet. So oh, where do these jobs go? Where, where, sorry, where does the manufacturing go now? They, they have to build these cars somewhere, aren't they? Well, the manufacturing will go to Ford's other plants, wherever they will be, okay. either well, in the US or, or overseas. So it'll affect Ford cars that are sold in Australia anyway? Sorry? Ford cars that are sold in Australia will be affected too? Yeah, of course. For the customer, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's the... But what should, well, we, what should we do? I mean, you talk about governments buying more locally made cars. What else? It's not just about that. They're the pressures that we've been under. The high dollar trade agreements, uh, the reality in terms of the Buy Australia campaign. What we want is action taken around jobs. Manufacturing is in crisis. So what do you want country. done? What do you want we the government want to government do? We want government to call a meeting of all the auto players. We want all the stakeholders. We want all the manufacturers. We want the components. We want the employee representatives, we want the community, and we want to sit around the table. We want to take the politics out of this. We want bipartisan support to see what we can do to ensure that we have an auto industry, that we sustain an auto industry, and more importantly, that we maintain and sustain a viable manufacturing industry in this country. But surely the government saw this coming. These are issues that we've been saying to the government for some time, and yeah. to, the credit, to the credit of this government, They've at least put proposals on the table through the Australian Jobs Plan about what they're prepared to do in terms of manufacturing more broadly, uh, and they've recommitted to $5.4 billion for the auto industry. We have yet to see anything on the other side of the table uh, from the opposition about their commitment to manufacturing, yeah, but their uh, commitment to order, other, say, than, but other than their commitment to strip $500 million okay. from the ATS. What we're saying is, we don't want jobs played as a political football. I agree. We Could want bipartisan support for our manufacturing industry and for auto jobs in this country. I couldn't agree more, and I, and I agree. There should be, it should be, politics should be taken out of it. Let's hope it can happen. Meanwhile, I mean, there's the political side, but this is just, this is just personal tragedy for workers, isn't it? It's a disaster for workers uh, to see that their jobs, that they've put so much life in themselves, uh, now being told that they've got effectively three years to go and they're out of work. Um, it's a huge whack to the local economy, it's a huge whack to the national economy, and we just 
can't stand by and say, oh, well, that's how things go. That's unacceptable. <laughs>